friend of the world, the friend of sin, the friend of the sinner is an enemy of God. Check who your friends are. If you have people who are sinners, you have no business being with them. As a Christian, you must have godly people as your advisors and counselors and stick to them. Hello, um, once again, you are welcome to my little Bible um, study discussion. I'm your online pastor. My name is Bishop Ampofu, and I believe that God is going to use this short session to bring light into your life. Um, we began to talk about friends and who should be your friend and who shouldn't be your friend. And so we spoke about three people who should not be your friend according to Psalm 1 verse 1. In that psalm, we saw that there were three categories of people. Number one, we saw the ungodly. And then number two, we saw the sinner. And number three, we saw the scorner. And um, we shared about the fact that the ungodly is the person who does not regard God. He doesn't have any value and on the things of God. And um, today we want to continue and talk about the sinner. Now, who is a sinner? Um, the sinner is someone who perpetually sins or sins without sins as part of his lifestyle, sins as part of something he enjoys doing. A Christian also sins, but then with the Christian, when he sins, he confesses his sins and asks God to forgive him because we are not supposed to live in sin. So when we talk about the sinner, the sinner is somebody who perpetually lives in sin. He sins and is not worried about it. And before I gave my life to Christ, I would call myself a sinner because I had principles and I had things that I did that was against the word of God, but I could really not care less whether the word of God was against my concept of relationship, whether the word of God was against my concept of enjoyment, whether the word of God had anything to do with what I wanted to do with my life. I mean, I felt that this is what I want to do and then I go ahead to do it. So a sinner is somebody who sins all the time, who sins without blinking and who sins as a part of his normal life. Now the Bible says in Isaiah 59 verse 1 and 2 that it isn't that God's ear is deaf that he cannot hear or his hand short that he cannot stretch his hands out and save us but our sins have separated him from us the sinner is somebody who is separated from god in this life he's somebody who we can call god's enemy in james chapter 4 and verse 4 let me just read a scripture to you from james chapter 4 and verse 4 the bible the bible tells us that the sinner is God's enemy. And so the first reason why he, a sinner shouldn't be your friend is because the enemy of God cannot be your friend. In James 4 and verse 4, the scripture says, Ye adulteress and adulteresses, know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. The friend of the world the friend of sin, the friend of the sinner, is an enemy of God. My friend, I would advise you, check who your friends are. If you have people who are sinners, you have no business being with them. You may ask me a question and say, Pastor, so how do we get the sinner to give his life to God? How do we witness to them? How do we evangelize to them? You can witness to them. In fact, you can have some friends who may not be born again, but they are just, you have a certain limited level of friendship with the person. When you talk about a friend 
who you stand with. You see, the scripture says, um, Blessed is the man who walketh not with the ungodly, nor standeth with sinners. So to be somebody you stand with is somebody who you are with for a very long time, somebody who is a main part of your life. So you would definitely know people who are sinners, but then they are not your very good friends. They are not people whose opinion will matter to you. As a Christian, you must have godly people as your advisors and counselors and stick to them. So I would advise you that step away from every sinner in your life and yourself step away from sin because sin makes you God's enemy. So God bless you. Um, this has been your um, online pastor, Bishop Ampofo. And if you are watching me right now, you don't have Jesus Christ in your life. You want to give your life to Christ. I would like to pray with you a simple prayer. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I thank you so much for the opportunity to know you. I confess my sins to you. I did not know you, but today I leave all these things behind me and I receive your word into my heart. Forgive me of my sins and write my name in your book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for receiving me. Amen. If you were blessed, you want to contact me, you can contact me on 0244367375. You can also send me an email on the email you see under the screen right now and I will respond to your mail. So God bless you and see you again. I believe you've been blessed by this message. For copies of this message, visit our Vision Bookshop at our church premise near Wamko 1. For counseling and prayer, you can also call Bishop Kwesi Ampofo on 0244-367375. God bless you.